So today I'm gonna be going over a video that I filmed not too long ago for, for Grisfit. It's basically me going over my workout regimen and what my routine has been looking like lately. But it's mostly for just arms and shoulders. And if this is just so that maybe just in case one of you guys are interested in going over it or just maybe revising it or implementing it into your own workout. So basically what I'm gonna be going through today is just my preferred workout regimen for arms and shoulders. Yes, this is a workout or a routine that I was using previously, but I have since changed my workout routine. Well, I haven't changed it yet. Starting January 7th, I am gonna be doing a new 12 week program. And the only reason I changed it was just because I felt like it was a better idea for me to go through with this instead of only going through this workout program, especially since I was just getting bored of it. I am someone who gets really bored of workouts easily. Even though I enjoy pumps and things like that, I do get bored of it. And I feel like after a while, I started to make my strength starts to decrease. Maybe just a little bit or that's just how I feel. So as you can see, here is the pre-workout that I was running. It was PSI and ESP Extreme, both blue raspberry flavors. I don't know. Even even my creatine is blue raspberry flavor. <laughs> I just prefer to shock in the pre-workout because I don't know. I feel like it kicks in faster. So let's start with supinating bicep curls. As you come up, that range of motion that you have with it when you're coming up, you're focusing on the brachialis. But as you supinate your wrist and bring it down, you're holding tension and letting your bicep contract as you go down. And then I switch into just regular bicep curls, two alternating bicep curls, just to finish out the muscle or just to finish out the, the rep range, since it is a small muscle group. Skull crushers. Skull crushers that just go light, it hits the long head of the tricep. Obviously, you're working out the whole tricep when you do it, but its emphasis is on the long head. It's it's honestly a good it's a good tricep workout, and I superset that with close grip bench. It's only 110 pounds, and it, trust me, you do feel it even if, even if you go light. Like here, I'm going with 60s. I'm going with 60s, and I'm just repping it out as much as I can. And from there, I switch into tricep kickbacks. Some people do it unilateral, which means just one side, but I prefer to do them both just to get it out of the way quicker. And from there, I superset the tricep kickbacks with dumbbell skull crushes. You don't have to. You can. You can either go heavy or you can go light. It all depends on which which way you feel better. And then from there, we move on to some dumbbell Arnold press. I call them Arnold press. They're to hit the front and the medial delt. Oh shit, sorry, I mixed it right there. And then from there, you switch into the butterfly raises, which hits this exact same muscle group. It's just to rep it out. And then for the last set, you just, go, you just jump straight into L raises, just to burn it out, just to fatigue the muscle. Actually, sorry about that. And from there, you jump into basically a rear delt fly. In these rear delt flies, you can do it whichever way you prefer. I just do it like that. And then these are dumbbell hip huggers. Leaning forward and bringing them back up allows me to contract the muscle a lot better. And then these are some pulls or a variation of the fly, which I find a lot more. And finally finishing up with some cardio for weight loss, just to burn out some fat. And basically that's my workout regimen that I've been doing just for a long time now. And well, it wasn't really that much of a long time. I've only been running it for around eight weeks. It was doing me a lot of good. It was working out for me a lot. But the thing is that I messed up on my diet and my nutrition. At the beginning of this workout regimen, I was starting to see a lot more definition of vascularity. Of course, as someone who's big, as someone who, who went from 222 pounds to 190, 185. And I did start to see a lot of progress, but as the Christmas time rolled around, obviously I started to, my diet started to go kind of bad. 
if you're Hispanic, you understand. There was a lot of leftovers, so it, it just, it went on to New Year's and then New Year's again, it was just, but finally, since we are finally starting a new week, finally away from the holidays, I can finally focus on my workouts, focus on my nutrition. And I hope that that's something that I will be able to, to demonstrate it is highly important how how your, your nutrition plays a role in your physique. And I'm trying to showcase that with this next week because I've been maintaining just the same weight, the same weight range for the past two to three weeks, which is 189 to 192. And before that, I was going from 185 to 190. It's not that, it doesn't sound like much of a difference, but you can tell a difference in like the way I look. Whatever. Yeah, that's, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. If you have any questions about working out or whatever you need a program, send me a message on Instagram. Or if you know me in person, ask me in person. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Have a good one, guys.